Hey guys, it's Carl, and this is a best tech episode dedicated to all the dads out there. So happy Father's Day, and technically, I'm a dad myself, a dog dad. Anyone can be a dad for anything, and even if you're not, sit down and enjoy some of the best tech gift guide ideas or some of the best gift ideas for uh, dads out there or for Father's Day. I will be giving away one of the items as I always do, so just be sure you're subbed to the channel. Do not follow for the YouTube spam. I know it's uh, rampant, so follow me over on social as that's where I'll DM the winner. And um, let's take a look at some of the best tech that you can grab right now. The first we'll start off with smartphones. And I know that the iPhone 13, 13 Pro were around a halfway refresh cycle, a uh, couple months out till the September launch date of the 14s. Apple came out with these two new colors in green for the 13. This one, I believe, is just the standard green color, whereas the 13 Pros, that's called Alpine Green. So the performance of these phones, nothing is new, only the colorway, and in case this is the first time you're checking these out, I think they were released around a month ago. This green, or the iPhone 13 line, has a standard back finish. It isn't matte, so you can see the reflectiveness of the green, and I do think 2022 was the year of the green phones. We've had so many companies, not just Apple, come out with green phones, so if green is your color, pick this up now because typically once a colorway comes out for a phone, we won't see it for another couple years. So um, if you are a fan of green or this Alpine green, which I really dig. So for the 13 Pro line, they have that pro finish, which is more of a matte color. And of course the stainless steel around the outsides, which is still in green. So if you rock your phones naked, if you love green, if green's your thing, or if green's your dad's thing, get him a green iPhone. Go green. Go green. Bulbasaur was green. Leaf green, that's the way to go. Uh, that's the way to go. Bulbasaur. On to today's video sponsor, which is Philips, so big shout outs to them. This is the S9000, and dad, if you're watching this video, which I think you do sometimes, this is on the way to you. For all of you that are into the shaving game, or if your dads uh, like to keep a clean shaven face, this is the Rolls Royce, or this is the Porsche of shavers. It is so nice. So I've actually been using this unit for the past couple weeks, and I am someone that shaves daily to get this uh, clean, clean baby face. But this is the first razor that I've seen with a display. It's actually an advanced OLED display. It shows you the battery life and a couple other features that you can see when this lights on, it's got some of this cool lighting, very futuristic, very advanced. It's got a full 360 degree flexible head, which is wet and dry, so you can use it in the shower or outside, whatever your shaving preference is. And what I actually loved about this is the connection to text. So you can actually download an app, which is called Groom Tribe, and it gives you a step-by-step -step process on how to shave your face, or the most efficient way. I know that a lot of us have uh, shaved for a while, but it just gives you extra tips in case you're doing it wrong, and it actually will tell you the proper pressure that you should be pressing on your face to get you the cleanest shave. And to be very honest, I am someone with a bit of sensitive skin that does break out when I switch to new shavers, which I haven't found with this, hopefully because it has this little cleaning pod. So it does come with this nice little cleaning solution, which is 10 times better for cleaning than water. You can also use that as well. And all you need to do is stick the shaver in. It's completely cable free and you just need to select a button on the shaver and give it a one minute rinsing cycle and you'll have this fully clean for your neck shave. And what I love, no cables involved and you can see it's just working on its own. And the last feature that I love is quick charge because how many times do you have your shaver in the morning and it's out of juice? So this does have quick charge, just quickly plug it in for five minutes so you can brush your teeth, you can take a shower and you'll have enough juice to have a proper shave. And the total charging time is an hour for 60 minutes of use. And lastly, because travel is somewhat becoming a thing again. It does come with this little travel case, which keep it nice and protected. And it's just easy to throw into your suitcase or your bag. So that's super dope. Dad, like I said, this is on the way. And um, I know that you have this really big stash. Would you ever cut that off with this? Have to see it on video. Next off for gifts, we're switching into TVs, portable one, which you can tell. This is the X Jimmy Halo. This gets you an image from 30 all the way up to 300 inches. It is capped at 1080p, but for the size, for the portability, what I actually love about this is it works obviously plugged in, but you can also use this as a standalone unplugged. You can get two hours of runtime 
which makes it great to bring on a camping trip. And personally, we've actually used this outside on our balcony when we want to enjoy some of the good weather now that it's summer. My usual setup suggestion, it does have a little quarter inch connector on the bottom. So just hook it up to a little mini tripod, just like so. And you can articulate this in any way to project it onto any surface. What is really nice, it does have an auto keystone function, which essentially auto levels the image. You get around 800 lumens of brightness. And once again, for this size, that's one of the best in class that I've seen. It's decently bright. You can get by watching it during the daytime, as long as there isn't direct sunlight against the wall or the surface that you're using, but the best experience for this will typically be at night. So when I was at home testing this out inside, we had that 100 inch range. And like I mentioned, when we brought this out onto the balcony to watch a couple shows, what also is great, it does have thousands of apps built in. Obviously you probably won't go through all, but it has all your standard ones, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, etc., or the service, which I'm using Disney plus who else is crushing Obi-Wan, Nick? Just finished Stranger Things. Hasn't watched it up. yet. Hasn't watched it yet. Uh, that's what uh, I am crushing with this. That's what I was watching out on the balcony. Uh, the entire unit is powered by Android TV and it does have sound by Harden Carden. So you don't need external speakers. What you get out of the unit is once again, good enough to listen to on its own in this compact form factor for two hours without a charge. I think that's pretty dope. It also comes with a remote in the box. Maybe the only thing I didn't like, AAA batteries, which you'll have to find lying around somewhere. What I love about this though, typically for projectors this size, they have an auto focus feature. When you can't quite dial the focus in on the remote, there's this little toggle at the bottom that you can actually switch to focus and then the volume rocker or the plus minus symbol becomes a manual adjuster for focus, which I haven't seen that in any other projector before. That was the one thing that bothered me about portable projectors. You could never fine tune the focus and you can see that I've got it set up right now. I won't shine that right into the camera sensor, but this is on running and even against direct sunlight, uh, we have a pretty decent image. So overall, a solid little projector. Dads out there that wanna escape the house, that wanna get outside, maybe watch some uh, NHL playoffs in the hot tub that want to uh, go outside and just escape the uh, joys of the house. Check out this projector. Moving on to headphones, gifts for dad. I think anyone would actually love these. These are two of the most popular active noise canceling headphones that have just come out. Obviously the industry standards, always the Sony WH-1000 Mark Vs. They have a brand new redesign. They have better noise canceling. These are probably industry leading right now. The best active noise canceling headphones that you can purchase. The one thing I don't really love, they don't fold or they don't get compact into a smaller design anymore. They still come with a little carrying case, but in terms of quality, they feel great. And like I said, the best active noise canceling headphones that you can get recently took them on a trip somewhat recently to Miami, could not hear the plane that I was on, drowned at all the crying kids on the plane. And um, I actually slept for three hours with these on. These ones are from Razer. These are the Barracuda Pros. And what Razer is trying to do, they're trying to create the one pair of headphones that you can do everything with. These will actively switch between all your devices. So whether you're gaming, whether you're editing, whether you're listening to music, playing on the Switch, which we'll get to. It actually has this little USB-C dongle, which can give you audio on your Switch. This is the one pair that you'll need. And it actually costs $150 less than the Sony's. $249 versus $399, so take your pick. Moving on to wearables, we have to showcase the Apple Watch just because it sells the best. It's the most popular smartwatch that's on the market. So this is Series 7. It's the newest one that they have. It's got the larger display. It has some of the new colors. So this is, of course, the blue aluminum. And if you are into anything health related, if you want to track heart rate, if you want to track steps, if you want to track activity, People getting uh, rounds of golf in this summer, which uh, ties into this video later on in the end. You can track all of that with the Apple Watch. It's got the best integration into the iOS or the Apple ecosystem. So if you have a iPhone, if you have one of those green ones that we saw earlier, if you've got a MacBook, an iPad, it's hard to recommend anything else just because they all kind of talk together. Would I say that the Apple Watch Series 7 is the best value? Probably not, still I the Apple Watch SE or just a previous version. You don't really need the larger display. That's obviously just my opinion. And maybe the best part about Apple Watches is their customization. You can swap out these bands to 
a hundred, 150 different options. They've got rubber, they've got steel, they've got leather. Everything that you want. They got it. The last expensive ish thing on today's list. It's not the Switch. Technically, a dad can buy a Switch, but uh, maybe it's a game that you want to rock. So I have been playing sickly amounts of hours of the new Star Wars Lego game. I love it. So around that 50 to $60 mark, I think video games are a great option, not only for dads, just for any one in general. So Lego Star Wars is my game choice. And if you want to keep things on budget, this is actually a good segue. We'll talk about things that are around that 50 to $20 range. SD cards as an example. So I actually have this new one from Lexar. It's a one terabyte micro SD card, saves all of my Switch games. If you guys are looking for SD cards in general, if any of you take photos or video, I think uh, storage options are always a thing to get. Nice little gifts for around that 42, I guess, depending on what size, $100 mark. So these ones from Lexar are great because they are super fast. So right now we are recording in the highest bit rate on my Sony's 10 bit color in 4K. And this handles all of that footage perfectly. So I think these are great gifts. And the last things just to wrap out the budget segment. So I will include air tags just because they've saved my life so many times. So you can see on every set of keys that I have, I have a pair because I lose these all the time. Car keys, condo keys, studio keys can keep track of them everywhere. Next, tying into the Philips game again, these are the Philips Hue light bulbs. So I think these are the best smart light bulbs that you can get. These particular ones just switch between different hues of white. So I think great in the kitchen, in the washroom, you don't wanna have multicolors going on in there. If you're making the switch to LED, they're more cost efficient, they're more environmentally friendly. And once again, if you are upgrading your smart home. And lastly, on the budget items, we showed this off in the projector. This is just a mini tripod, $20 off of Amazon. If you have anything that connects to a quarter inch connector, this will probably be one of the cheapest items that you see on this episode. Make sure to pick that up. That is pretty much all of the tech. Let's switch quickly into some lifestyle stuff, maybe even some desk accessories, because I think not only dads, everyone appreciates this stuff. If you are looking to up your desk accessory game or improve your desk setup, these are all accessories from GroveMade. So for example, I've got this little tray right here in front of me. It houses all the stuff in my studio that typically live on my desk. So I've got SIM card, tools, I've got little bits of Lego, controllers, and just helps keep things organized, which I typically have living over on my desk. You can also see I do have a monitor riser and GroveMade makes all stuff wood, all stuff that looks dope on a desk, even the little shelves up top are from GroveMade. Once again, I've got Lego on there, I've just got little bits of extras. All of those things I think also make great gifts. Um, and to finalize this, Gotta give a golf plug, because that's actually what I've been playing and every dad loves golf. I've kind of taken it up as new sport and thankfully TaylorMade has hooked me up with their latest gear. So as an example, these are their new stealth hybrids and woods. And what makes these really cool, they've introduced a lot of tech into these, which I'm a fan of. These do have a new carbon crown. And if you grab the driver, that has the carbon face, which results in a lighter head. That translates into faster club speeds, which should theoretically translate into a longer flight path or a longer distance for your balls when you crush them. I am obviously still learning the game. To be very honest, I downright still suck, but uh, it is a dope game to get into. It's fun, it's frustrating, and it's just a good way to spend some time with your dad, your kid, your friends, or even yourself, whoever you end up going with. I will showcase just because we got to Team Orange. TaylorMade also does a ton of customization stuff. So you can see I've got the little orange cover on this, the putter cover, and I do have a Spider X all in orange. How can I not like golf with an orange putter? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. I will quickly wrap this up. We will stick this on. We will clear off the table. So that is it. Hopefully you found some pretty sweet gift ideas for a Father's Day or for whoever special in your life is maybe looking at yourself. If you wanna win something, I probably won't give any of the drivers or the tailor-made stuff away, but everything else is up for dibs. So make sure you leave a comment, sub, follow on social. Don't deal with any of the spam on YouTube now. I'll DM you directly over there and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.